Good day, panelists. We are here to present to you our study entitled The Effectivity of Activated Coconut Shell Carbon as Car Exhaust Filters. So, according to a group of concerned scientists, cars produce nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and other harmful materials, emit car emissions, which are released to the atmosphere. These air pollutants, these air pollutants, uh, pose a serious threat to the health of humans as the gas irritates the respiratory system. These pollutants also contribute heavily to global warming. Um, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, they found out that, co that carbon dioxide is the largest contributor of, of greenhouse gas emissions. And according to Das and his fellow researchers, they find out that Adsorption is the most promising method of carbon dioxide capture due to its cost effectivity, low energy consumption, and simple technological processes. Um, activated carbon is the most effective smoke filter because of the, its ability to capture particle matters from air pollutants such as carbon dioxide. It is achieved through uh, when a carbon-rich material is burned at a very high temperature and and is then chemically treated with oxygen, steam, uh, or certain acids. Certain acids. Um, recently, um, special attention has been paid to the utilization of naturally, naturally abundant, low-cost, and eco-friendly, eco-friendly sorbents as a replacement to the conventional, conventional ones. Um, as, the, uh, as defined by the United States Environmental Protec Protection Agency, sorbents are naturally abundant and can be uh, naturally abundant and can be made easily from industrial waste, industrial waste using agri or agricultural waste. Um, these agricultural wastes include um, shells, straws, peels, husk, and many more. Fortunately for the Philippines, it grows its own, its own economic sorbent, which is the coconut shell. Um, the, the country holds the largest number of coconut trees in the world, and as one of its uh, major waste is the shells and husk, and one potential way, one potential uses of this waste is to turn them into activated, activated carbon. Uh, studies also showed that Car activated carbon made from coconut shells are more advantageous than carbon made materials due to its high density, high purity, and virtually dust free nature. Furthermore, uh, it also showed that, that coconut shell carbons are, has an amorphous structure which, 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 is, which gives it the ability to absorb more gases and um, having these innate properties, we can say that coconut shell carbons, uh, coconut shell can be an, is an ideal raw starting material. So, 
The main objective of this study is to determine the effectiveness of green coconut shell activated carbon as a car exhaust filter. To attain this goal, this study specifically aims to identify what car exhaust pollutants that can be captured by the green coconut shell activated carbon and to account the depreciation percentage after the green coconut shell activated carbon exhaust filter is applied. So, in order to attain these objectives, um, we, the researchers, will produce an activated charcoal uh, from green coconut shells and it will be infused in a muffler car exhaust scale that will be attached only in a diesel engine powered vehicle for me measuring emissions. And if this study is implemented, the owners, drivers, commuters, environmental organizations will benefit this study because this study will give them knowledge to use it as a alternative to support green, clean, clean gas. So, and this study will also benefit the future researchers because this will be serve as a guide if they plan to retain or improve this study and its effectivity for future uses. This flowchart will serve as a visual representation of how the overall research was conducted. To begin with, the creation of the activated coconut shell charcoal and also the creation of the prototype, the car exhaust prototype. To be followed by the experiment, which is consisted of two setups. One is with the filter on and one without. Followed by that is the analysis and identification of the presence of the pollutant. Now, to carry out the objective of this study, which is to create an activated coconut shell um, car exhaust filter, here are the steps that we will do. So first, we will gather the coconut shells from the markets of Lapu Lapu City and then cut them into smaller pieces. Then, they will be washed with distilled water and then um, sun-dried for 24 hours. Next, for additional drying, they will be placed in an oven at a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. Now, for the activation, a 7 gram sample will be soaked in a 100 ml of 0.67 molar of phosphoric acid. Then it will be placed at an oven um, for, an, for 24 hours at a temperature of 105 degrees Celsius. Now for the carbonization method, um, the sample will then be placed in a muffle filter at a temperature of 575 degrees Celsius for one hour. And then for further drying, it will be placed um, in an oven at 105 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Now for the characterization, there will be four quantitative measurements that we will need to determine. These are namely the percentage yield, um, weight loss, ash content, and the bulk density. So these are very important factors that we need to consider to identify the effectivity of the activated coconut shell um, carbon as a car exhaust filter. Now for the application of the filter. To begin with, there will be a modification of the car's exhaust filter. There will be two holes that will be drilled in the opposite sides of the car exhaust filter. And the ACSC pillar will be inserted that way and it will be secured horizontally. Followed by that, the bolts will be attached to the car's exhaust filter, the original one, so that it can really secure a tight fit on the additional car exhaust tip to the original one. Once it's attached, the emission testing will be carried out. So to begin with the emission test, the car has to be warmed up for a moment. Then afterwards, the accelerator will be pressed down and the results of the time that the accelerator is pushing down will be recorded. Once done, the additional car exhaust tip will be removed and another emission test will be carried out. For the results and the analysis of the experiment, there will be a gas, car exhaust gas that will be attached to the tailpipe and it's also connected to an exhaust gas analyzer that can 
that can read the levels of carbon monoxide and also hydrocarbon. And after that, the two re results will be compared in a quantitative basis. One is without a filter and one is with a filter on. And afterwards, the physical characteristics of the ACSA pillar after being exposed to the car smoke will also be noted down. And that's it. If you have further questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.